All right, folks. The new Dave Rubin clip just dropped uh, for the week. It seems like at least once, maybe twice a week, he'll say something stupid and all of the left just feels uh, forced to react to it because how could you not? And this week is no different. Um, but in terms of like what he says, really, I think this week it's about what he doesn't say because he is going to talk to somebody who is a homophobe and he's going to discuss his family because as you all know Dave Rubin is having two children with his with his husband um now I don't know why Dave Rubin keeps having conversations like this like I don't know why he subjects himself to debate the legitimacy of his life um if it were me I would not do that I would not put myself in that predicament but nonetheless here we are Dave Rubin is going to talk to a homophobe um and we'll see how this goes a family generally is a father and a mother and then children um, are there way, that is the norm. That is the norm and I would say in some ways this is gonna sound a little bit weird for a certain amount of people, but that is, that is sort of the ideal. But in the world, not everything is always the ideal. So in, in the family that we are gonna raise, we're obviously gonna have two fathers. However, that is not me saying, oh, women are not important or that there is no difference between men and- I'm sorry, but is anyone accusing you of that? Is anyone saying, oh, well, you're having, uh, you know, a child with your husband? You must think that women are not important. Like, that's such a, who's saying this? Like, who is making this argument? It'd be, like, similar if you said, oh, well, what? You're, you're not married to a woman. You must be sexist. You're gay. You're not attracted to women. You sexist pig. I, I haven't heard anybody say this. So, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about here. Or anything like, and it will look, will it look different than the traditional family? Yes. But how many people do the traditional family truly right with the best of the best of the mother and the father and don't do anything to <laughs> screw up their kids psychologically or physically or anything else? So, so I think you can say that, oh, there is the norm and the ideal. And then there are things around that and approximate to it that are pretty good, too. And the best okay. that I can I don't like this conflation between the norm and the ideal because he's correct that you know heterosexual family or opposite sex families are the norm statistically there's more of them but like be careful because you're, you're going to get them too linked up when that's not necessarily true just because something is the norm doesn't mean that it's inherently bad or not ideal so i just want to make that clarification because he's being a little bit slippery with his language here or sloppy rather but um yeah who is do the best that I can to, to make so something good happen. what I um, hear from your things right now is that on the ideal, you would prefer that your uh, children will be heterosexual, heterosexual and to uh, live in an, the classic uh, ideal family. Okay, so before I hear what Dave Rubin has to say, this is kind of backing Dave Rubin into a corner because if he genuinely believes in what he espouses, then... Sure, if you think that maybe, um, you know, kids are better off with straight parents, why are you having kids? Like, and, and he's trying to find some way to build this bridge between him and his life and conservatives who just refuse to accept him. But, you know, if you, if you think that LGBTQ plus representation, for one, is grooming, as Dave Rubin has implied by canceling Disney Plus when they said they would increase LGBTQ representation. If you think that, you know, um, it's not ideal, not saying that he said that, but like if you are paying lip service to this notion that being gay parents isn't ideal for the children, which is not actually true. Studies show that gay children do as good, if not better, than opposite sex parents. But I mean, you, you have to kind of at least tacitly acknowledge that what he's saying has some legitimacy um and, and from dave's perspective it has no legitimacy but i mean but what i'm saying is that like if you are coming from that gay conservative perspective then you kind of have to accept this argument right um but dave rubin doesn't want to for obvious reasons women well, I, I wouldn't prefer uh, well that's not exactly what i'm saying i don't know that i would prefer that they would be i would prefer I would prefer that they, that I am able to raise two children who are functional adults who uh, have an understanding of the way the world works and can find some meaning in their lives and live a life that's important to them. If ultimately uh, they both turn out to be straight, that's fantastic. If one of them turns out to be gay, 
that's fine too. Like, no, I'm, but that, I mean on the, it's, on it's the ideal, of, not if it would happen, you would, yeah. of course, you would embrace them if they were gay, like, uh, <laughs> of course. But this is not the question. Yeah. The question is, what do you think the ideal that you would um, teach your, not teach, but uh, want your children to be? Yeah. It's, I, I okay, get... see, this is why Dave Rubin is kind of checkmated. Because if you endorse this idea that, you know, gay parents are less than ideal, then this opens the door to you admitting that the situation your family is not ideal. And that's unacceptable. You've got to shoot this down unequivocally. Now, today, Ruben's credit here, he's not trying to give in to what this individual is saying, but not the most harshest pushback here. Uh, but I mean, Dave, this is this is your family, right? We're talking about your children and your husband. Don't let this shit fly. If anybody told me, well, okay, if you if you think that maybe same-sex marriages aren't ideal, therefore your husband would be better off with a woman, I would say, no, he would not be better off with a woman. He's better off with me. We're happy together. Like, you have to defend yourself here. And th this is what I have a problem uh, with when it comes to these issues that Dave Rubin talks about with his uh, colleagues here. You know, um, Glenn Beck, he compared homosexuality to alcoholism. And Dave Rubin just sat there and you could tell that it hurt him, but he didn't respond by trying to rebut that point and explain how that's an absurd comparison. So you, you have to be forceful in the pushback here. But it's Dave Rubin. <laughs> so, you know, I don't think he, he's going to uh, do that. Getting hung up maybe a little bit on the word want. I, I would understand in, re, in the, the reality of reality is that the life that life would be sort of the easiest, supposedly, although I don't think life is necessarily supposed to be easy. Okay, so I don't know where he was going with that. That's the end of the clip. This is courtesy of Dave Rubin Clips. Um, but look, if you say, I'll love my child no matter what, good. You're a good parent, right? Being a parent means you should have uncond unconditional love for your child. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't like hold your kids accountable or something like that. But I mean, we're talking about whether they're gay or straight, right? Of course you should love your, your kid. But if Dave Rubin were to make the point that like, you know what? I would still love my child if they were gay. However, you know, because of how society treats gay people, you know, maybe I would uh, not want my child to be gay just because I wouldn't want them to see the same discrimination that I've faced throughout my life. It's an understandable point, but it's still not... It's still not meeting my expectations. Really, what I want is, listen, I'm going to love my kids no matter what. I don't care if they're gay. I don't care if they're trans. And I will fight for the world that is going to be accepting of my children, regardless of how they grow up to be. So if, you know, I'll be worried because society doesn't treat trans people with respect, then I'm not going to hope that they're not trans. I'm going to fight for a better future for trans people so my child can grow up in a more accepting environment. So, I mean, like, it's not the worst Dave Rubin clip that I've ever seen, but at the same time, I want to see forceful pushback. And we just, we haven't seen that on the level that it needs to be. Um, we haven't seen that. So, um, you know, and, and that's what you need to see. People are talking about, like, your life and your family, Dave. So that is no small thing. You need to shut that shit down uh, immediately. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 